All right, people. So today is a pretty exciting day for me. Um, as you all know, I just purchased a Datsun uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, but today, I'm doing something crazy. I'm making another purchase. I'm actually buying a 1990 300ZX. So we're in the process of getting this trailered up. Um, it's becoming a little bit more of a project than, than we expected, but I uh, called a couple guys. I got them down here and they're helping me get this thing trailered up. So Kyle's uh, quite the jokester. Uh, he w he <laughs> <laughs> I already f***ed up. <laughs> So Kyle's quite the jokester. He wouldn't know how to buy a real car if what, if. <laughs> so Kyle's quite the jokester. Uh, he wouldn't know how to purchase a a real car. <laughs> so Kyle thinks he's funny. Uh, this is actually uh, my car. Uh, he wouldn't know how to purchase a real car if he knew it was good for him. Uh, so, of course, he's having me bring this to his garage because he's got all the compressor, he's got all the stuff. He had to get his garage set up. So, um, that's where we're going. We're, uh, we're going to bring this up to his house and uh, that way we can get it ready for paint and uh, all that stuff. So, see you there. So a little update for you guys uh, with what's been going on. Um, as you guys have seen, uh, we've been in the process of getting Chris's Z uh, moved up to the garage here. We're gonna start working on the cars side by side um, in hopes that that's gonna make things a little more efficient, a little easier for us. Um, on the other hand, I've been in the process of uh, getting the garage up to shape. Um, I've got some insulation going up, got some sheetrock going up. Uh, we got a little wood stove that we're working on putting in over here. Um, that's gonna be super nice uh, for the rest of the winter. We've been using kerosene heaters and propane heaters and just it's filling the garage up with fumes and it's terrible, we're getting sick of it. So, little update on the Datsun. So as you guys have already kind of seen, um, with this well, uh, things are becoming a little bit of a disaster. We've got a couple of really huge holes here. Uh, I do have some parts on the way to take care of this. Uh, we're not gonna cut in to anything or touch anything until the parts get here. We really understand the dimensions for everything. Um, there's also a couple parts that are super hard to find. You really can't find them unless you can get a clean shell or something to cut the pieces out of. Uh, but we did find a company who is possibly willing to make us uh, some special parts. And we're pretty optimistic that that's gonna work out. Um, but in the meantime, uh, while we're waiting on those parts, we're going to transition over to this junk over here. Um, Chris is working on, <laughs> he's working on a base shape. Coming from the guy that's got like a quarter of a Datsun over there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, as soon as it's done, Chris, I don't know, I think it's going to be the one that gets, gets more looks, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll tell. We'll see. So Chris has been working on a base shape, um, and a few other things, um, but uh, why don't you why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Yeah, so um, originally uh, what started everything was um, is originally a white car. I don't know if you can see some of the paint. This is the original paint, so it was white. Uh, previous owner 
painted it red and um, they even spray painted the engine bay black. Um, I can understand why they do that because white doesn't look good with red. Um, but you know, it's just regular rattle can flat black uh, and I can't have that. So um, we're gonna do a light bay shave and we're gonna paint the engine bay so that it uh, matches uh, the body. Today, um, we're gonna sand the rest of the engine bay. We have it half done. Uh, so we're gonna get this right side over here. We're gonna take a few of the other pieces, get it out of our way. Um, so the goal tonight, I wanna have this whole thing pretty much stripped down to bare metal. I couldn't help myself. Um, I saw bare metal and uh, I had to start welding something. So uh, clearly I've decided that we're gonna weld the seams. Um, just a couple of spot welds, obviously in between, we're just gonna keep spot welding until everything is filled in and then ground down. Uh, they're a little more raised than I wanted them to be. Uh, but I mean, the settings with the welder, I've kinda, I gotta toy with it a little bit more, but um, looking okay. So for the people who care, um, I'm using this uh, wire wheel to uh, strip all the seam sealer off, all the seams. Really kind of gets in there nice. Uh, it's like a deep crevice there, so it's like, it's nice for those. Uh, and then to strip the paint, I'm using this uh, polycarbide abrasive wheel, I think it's called. Uh, strips the paint really, really good. Takes like two seconds. Just to just to show you guys. Like that, doesn't take long at all.
So we ended up finding a much faster way to strip the paint. One of these brush wheels on a high-speed grinder. I mean, seconds. It's so much better. Alright guys, so we're about to wrap it up for the night. Uh, we've been grinding away at the bay for, I'd say, the last uh, three, four hours anyway. Um, probably getting close to about 90% done. Um, and in order to finish, uh, we still do need to move a few things. We need to drop the subframe. There's a couple of brake lines and things like that that we need to get out of the way. Um, and get in there with some, some detailed brushes uh, to take care of the finer areas. Um, but other than that, we're almost done. Uh, it's, it's definitely been rough uh, using the wire wheels. It's time consuming. Um, but the reason we didn't decide to go the route with chemical strippers and stuff like that is because we were worried that uh, some of the chemicals would drop down into these frame rail holes and get into areas that we couldn't reach and, and be able to clean that stuff up. Um, but anyways, we're almost there. And uh, hopefully the next time you guys see this, it'll be totally clean and we'll be ready for some seam welding.